Hey guys, today's video is going to be my April perfume tray. This is not it. This is my March tray and I'll just tell you guys really quickly what I wore last month. Or, Like I said before, I put this tray up as a mild suggestion or kind of like an easy reach, easy grab and go by my front door. But you know, at the end of the day I end up wearing whatever I'm in the mood for, which isn't always what's on the tray. This is just like a mild suggestion. And I was actually just really hooked on like two or three fragrances and I just kept wearing them repeatedly. So one of the first ones that I was literally obsessed with, I felt like I was obsessed, is this KKW Caramel Orchid. It smells like a slightly green aromatic, kind of spicy, just like mildly spicy, fruity vanilla. It's mostly just like a fruity vanilla, but there's something in there in the opening that makes it so like juicy and almost addictive that I really, really love spraying this. Every time I go to reach for stuff, I'm like, ooh, I wanna smell the opening of this perfume. So I end up spraying it a lot. It's very light, it doesn't even last long. So I do end up spraying a ton of it. I almost feel like I'm already maybe a third of the way down. I checked it with the light and I think if I turn it like this, I'm like about right here, something like that. So I have gotten my use out of this, which is really cool. Kind of unexpected, you know, for a celebrity and for a KKW fragrance, but it worked out. This is so nice and light and airy and fun in a way with just a touch of something that's giving me more than a typical fruity perfume. It's kind of just, it does something, you know? It just, it intrigues me, it captures me, and I really, truly enjoy it as an everyday chill kind of perfume. So anyways, this was one of the ones I was obsessed with. And then I still was obsessed with Lyra and anything that smelled kind of like Lyra. Also the Bath and Body Works one that came out. And I want to say I wore this like five or six times, which in a month when you are a perfume, what, addict? What are we? What are we calling ourselves? Perfume connoisseur, perfume obsessed person, perfume psychopath, <laughs> perfume addict. We'll go with that. To wear something five or six times is actually a lot. I think it's a lot. Maybe it was six or seven. Anyway, so yeah, I wore this maybe six or seven times, which like I said, I think it's quite a bit for somebody who has dozens and dozens of perfumes. I think it's already like right here, so I'm a little bit nervous about this, especially because obviously if I turn it upside down, then it's actually right here, right above the letters. So it just depends. So anyways, I was really hooked on that and the stuff that goes with it. I need to make a video on Lemon Gourmands. I will be making that soon. I'm just waiting for one more that's coming in the mail. So those were my hits. That's not all I wore, but those were the ones that I was more obsessed with. And then the one that was kind of a fail. The one that was kind of a fail is this. Hugo Boss, The Scent Private Accord. Somebody asked me to double check if it was The Scent Private Accord and look, it is. It says right there, Private Accord. It's supposed to be the really gourmand, except I get so much soapiness and like this freshness from it, which is kind of confusing. It was not advertised to me that way. I was told this was going to be super yummy edible chocolate and it's absolutely not. I think it's the orange. I think I don't really get along too much with orange and perfumes. And then adding orange with the gourmand, it just didn't, it didn't vibe for me. Like they don't go together. But I'm not saying that I'm done with this fragrance or that I don't like it. I just don't know about this yet. I'm still confused. My senses are still wondering why you would put chocolate and orange together. You know when you just don't like something together? I love orange and I love chocolate. I love, literally love chocolate, but I don't know that I would want to pair them together. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion, but it could change. I already tried this in the spring, so I'm going to save it and maybe try it more in the fall and winter. And then if I still don't like it, then it's going to have to go. But for now, it's just that uh, it's nothing. I just, I don't understand this fragrance yet. That's, that's where I'll leave it at. 
I also didn't really get any special occasions to wear some of these fancier ones that smell more dressed up. So anyways, that was March. Now let's clear this out and move on to April's tray. So I was just going to show you guys that I did leave some here. That is my La Vie Bell hair perfume. I always forget to use it, but I'm going to keep it here in case I suddenly want my hair to smell good and I'm willing to risk a little bit of damage because hair perfume sounds really sketchy. Um, this is YSL Le Parfum, Libre Le Parfum or whatever. I have not given this a full wear test. Um, I haven't found the right occasion. Anytime that I'm going out on a date night or something, I always go for my go-to date night perfumes. Like my sweet berries or... I go for like those super gourmand, delicious, edible gourmands. So I need to try this one. I'm going to keep it here. For the right occasion same thing goes for that coco woods by nest perfumes I'm just waiting for the right occasion and then my kais stay here and then i'm keeping this one because i can still see myself reaching for that one i feel i still feel super in love with it and i want to wear what i love because sometimes i fall out of love with things after a few weeks or months so i want to enjoy it while i still like it okay now to the new ones I'm going to put Rose's Vanille. I like this DNA. I enjoy it. I can still see myself reaching for this even in the springtime for nighttime. I am trying to compare this one versus Florence and just seeing what's which one's my favorite so I can try to make a decision because I don't think that I need both of them even though I truly just want to keep both but I don't think I should. And I tried Florence and that had amazing longevity so I want to see if this one also has amazing longevity. So I can just choose one. So this one's going to stay. So I can just choose one and not have so much redundancy in my collection. Next I'm going to do JLo's Miami Glow. I recently talked about this I believe and I just smelled it. It smells so clean and easy going that I just want to have this out here for a clean and easy going kind of day. Also Rihanna's Rebel Nude I think it's what it's called. This is just a nice, almost kind of fresh, a little vanilla-y guava scent, and I've been really liking the note of guava, so that's going to be here. Next, I want to get some use out of this. I haven't really worn it. I got this because a lot of people said that this is better than the regular pink sugar since I get the, since I get a lot of the licorice and it kind of gives me like burnt tire vibes and the regular pink sugar so I wanted to try this red velvet. So far I get something that's a little bit synthetic and it just smells unnatural but not necessarily in a bad way. It doesn't smell bad at all. It kind of smells a little powdery too and kind of good. I feel like this is going to pair perfectly with other either vanillas or maybe berry scents so I'm excited to try layering with this one. Next is Escala's Magnetism. This is an amazing, very versatile perfume that I like. Sometimes I get fresh, freshy vibes. Sometimes it gives me floral. Sometimes it gives me a little bit like citrusy and bright. And sometimes even like a little slightly unisex. I've even gotten powdery vibes from this. I love this perfume. I feel like it takes on a different smell depending on when you wear it and the weather and all that. So I love this one. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful perfume for the springtime. Next is Oriana by Parfum de Marly. I think it was Denise Adore that said that she was going to bring this out in the spring and I hadn't really connected it with spring, but I see it. It kind of goes because there's a little bit of a berry marshmallowy floral aspect in here. It smells like, it smells kind of like Easter-ish in a way because of the powderiness in here. Like the powdery marshmallow vibe so this is actually a really nice fragrance for spring so thanks to Denise Adore for mentioning that so since I saw her doing that now I want to try wearing it right now in the spring also want to try Escada Celebrate now since I recently hauled it I want to see this is not that it's on the chopping block but it's on probation it's kind of on probation I just got it now I'm gonna try it if it doesn't work out then I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to work too hard. I'm not going to try too much. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So I'm just going to test it out. Basically, it's on probation. You know when you start a job and you're on probation until they see if they like you or not? 
that's what I'm doing with especially some of these cheaper fragrances. Actually, that's kind of what I've been doing with everything that comes in. So if it doesn't work, I don't want to try too hard. I don't want to work too hard. I have plenty that I love. I don't need to make a huge effort for some of these perfumes. So this one is on probation like that. Next, I'm going to try So Very Sophia. This is a very cheap fragrance that smells very expensive. So I'm going to try it out, see how long it lasts, because I'm not sure how it does. Even if it doesn't last long, then I'll just overspray the heck out of it because this was like $12 and it'll be sort of like a body mist, which is totally fine by me because the smell is really good. I also recently talked about Still by JLo, so I wanted to have it out. It smells good, fresh, clean, easygoing, kind of like tea. And I love tea fragrances. I think I'm recently realizing that tea is kind of my jam. Tea is one of my notes that's really getting up there with berries and cotton candy and patchouli, which are my favorite types of perfumes. I think tea is right up there with all of those too. So this is one of those good ones. Also recently hauled this, so I want to try it out. Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. It seems like a perfect fragrance for right now. I might even wear something like this for Easter or maybe that one though. Next is going to be Burberry Her Intense. I love this perfume. It's such a like syrupy, fruity, dark, like dark fruits, maybe dark syrup kind of vibe. So I love this. It feels, it feels like I just want to wear this right now. Mm. Woody Raspberries. Amazing. That's Femme by Usher. Super cheap, really nice smelling fragrance. Also recently talked about this in another video, Le Petit Robe Noir by Guerlain. Has a cotton candy, a little bit of blueberry, but still a very feminine patchouli vanilla kind of base. So it's a really good mixture of like youthful notes with some more grounding notes as well in the base. So this is a really beautiful perfume that I'm excited to wear. This one I'm going to wear to see if I'm going to keep it or not. A lot of these cheaper, fruitier perfumes have been seeming a bit, just a bit like too cheap smelling for me. So this one's sort of on the chopping block. Depends how it goes. Of course this has to go on here because it's matte can candy yum yum. It's my jam right now. So that's going in there. This one's in a project pan because I'm panning all of the perfumes that I absolutely love right now. I really said I wasn't going to pack my tray and here we are again six months later and I have not figured out how to not pack the crap out of this little tray. So anyways guys, that is my tray. Tell me what you've been loving lately because I told you guys what I was loving. Tell me what you guys are planning to wear for Easter or what perfume gives you like Easter vibes. I'm kind of thinking... I'm kind of thinking Oriana just because of that fluffy marshmallow vibe, but then maybe Sabrina Car Carpenter as well because it has a little bit of chocolate and vanilla, and that also smells kind of candy-like. So maybe even the Cotton Candy by Kai's. So tell me what perfume you're going to wear or tell me what perfume you're going to wear for Easter or what perfume gives you Easter vibes, you know? So anyways, that's my tray. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.